Hello, what is this you ask? This <laughs> is how I maintain my big fro. So this is an old twist out. I usually wrap it up in a scarf in a high ponytail. So I have a high ponytail. Can you see how tall this is? Right up here. And I just wrap it. And so the next day, we just pull her down and then we get our big afro. Kind of shape it. Okay, this might take a little bit of work. <laughs> oh, I have another scrunchie. Go ahead. What y'all think? Oh, let me show you my earrings. So here's a little tip. If you have like favorite earrings that you can't find one, I have like a ton of jewelry where I lose one earring and then I have one more and I think, God, these were so pretty. I don't want to throw them away. No problem. Just wear them. Mitch matched and all. So look, these are all different. I have one piercing up here that I did when I was about, I think I was about 17. My mom, um, actually no, this one I did with my mom and grandma when I was about 17, 18. She let me go get a second hold um, and we all got one. This one I had when I was little and this one I did as an adult. Um, so I don't always wear it, but I actually have three piercings on uh, my left ear. So look, different earrings mismatched and then this one um, looks like Indian jewelry and I love it but I lost I lost one of them so I wear it on this ear on this ear I have two piercings but I don't usually wear the other hole so how many piercings do you have or is it something that you are not into multiple piercings or is it culturally not something you do um, yeah I like it. Um, I actually like people who have like a piercing on their nose if they have like a cute nose and they want to do that. The eyebrow, mm, not so much. The whole lip thing, not so much. The tongue thing, definitely not for me. I can't stand when I see young girls trying to talk and they got this lisp. Yes, hello. My name is Habiba and I can't even talk to you because I can't lift my lip because I've got this piercing. <laughs> and I'm sorry if you have uh, a piercing and feel offended I don't mean to I'm sorry but anyway just it's not the me but I do like the piercings on the ears and I don't mind a few tattoos as long as they're not anywhere too obvious and yes I do have a tattoo you will not be seeing it most people don't see it uh, it's between me and my hubby and maybe a few close friends really close <laughs> and occasionally when I scare my kids and they shake their head like why does mommy have a tattoo but she does anyway I will talk to you later so no rice today doing tortillas corn tortillas which I will um, toast you can toast them or you can steam them Gonna have that with some homemade salsa, some tomatoes, chopped cilantro, of course some lime, and I also love avocado, beautiful avocado. Side of fried plantain, which I will be doing. And um, over here we have some chicken, because this is gonna be some tortillas with chicken. It's kind of almost like a shredded, slightly stewed chicken with lots of spice and onions and some beans, refried beans that I'm steaming. So here's my first correspondence from Google. Anyone who is a YouTuber or has an AdSense account knows this. They send you um, basically an opportunity to get an account so you can start to monetize and make money. Um, so for those of you who wonder that um, I'm doing all of this YouTube, uh, spending hours uploading and editing and you know all that stuff, I don't get paid for it. It's really because I love doing it. Um, so I haven't made one dime doing it and yes, and yet I continue to do it But for many people they actually do make a considerable amount of income doing this so Maybe in the future I will 
but this is an opportunity to uh, have a Google AdSense account, which I will open. All right, let's start with the first bag. We have here, oh, yep, two cans of eel, roasted eel. I love roasted eel because it reminds me of eating sushi. But if you can't, if you don't want to eat sushi, um, you can eat roasted eel and you can eat it with rice. We have some hoisin sauce. I'll be passing it to Marion to put away. Hoisin sauce. This is, makes for a good dipping sauce. Um, yeah, really tasty, and you can also cook with it. Some coconut milk, which we use to make, I sometimes cook with it to make Jamaican rice and peas, but we also use it to make um, the Vietnamese pancakes, which you may have seen. I had a recipe early on. Um, the rice pancakes, you mix it with coconut milk. Ah, another coconut milk. Oh yes, this is jackfruit. So we've eaten jackfruit many a times. Usually I buy it from the can. It smells really good. Very sweet, exotic fruit. And it looks almost like durian because it's got the spines on it, but the spines from the durian are a little bit more pronounced. So we bought this and I plan to eat it tomorrow with Ketten and the kids. Mary, you can refrigerate it. All right, so we have some spice seasoning, coriander powder, which you can get as seeds whole, but this is also easy. Um, turmeric powder, which Caribbeans use a lot of. This is made in India, uh, but also Asian people use it a lot too to make the uh, Vietnamese pancakes, for example. So you hopefully have seen my last video with the uh, Vietnamese rice pancakes. These are mung beans, mung beans, and uh, Canton likes to make a nice porridge with them, and it's really good. Add some coconut milk and sugar, and I believe it's something he grew up with as a child. I love it, and so does the kids. So two bags of that. Also have some black rice. Have you ever eaten this before? You should. It's very nutty, uh, very flavorful rice. I think they said it was something emperors used to eat, um, black glutinous rice. So anyway, one of these days I will cook it and show you. Also have some cumin powder. All right, Miriam, you can put this away. So here we have some Japanese mochi. And this is actually more like dessert. Beautiful packaging. And this is really for the kids. Um, it tends to be a glutinous type of rice paste, and then they put different flavors in there, like peanut butter or mung bean, or um, uh, Mariam likes uh, the green tea. So that's what that is. And this, this is, is the um, sesame bean paste, this is peanut butter, and then this is uh, red bean paste in the middle. So which one's your favorite? I've had the peanut butter one. It's okay. I haven't tasted the other ones. Cream Go ahead. Like open one. it. Take out one. Let me see. So these are Japanese. But we bought them um, in the Asian store here in Durham. Let's see. Let me see. I want to see the texture. You bite into it. So that one's the red bean, right? That looks like red bean. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Can I see one of the peanut butter? Or oh, coconut, no. Yeah, 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 I wanna see the coconut. There's no coconut. There's no coconut? Which one is this one? That's the sesame bean paste. Oh, okay, let me see that one. So are these considered candies or dessert or really a bit of both? Isn't that pretty? Look at the contrast. All right, I'm gonna so that one's the coconut mochi or coconut filling. And guess what this is? One of Mariam's favorites, Pocky. 
Um, this is the green tea matcha flavor. She likes that. Okay. In here, I believe we have some noodles. So this is rice noodles. These you can stir fry. They're much lighter than the wheat noodles. Vermicelli. Vermicelli. I might be saying that wrong. Vermicelli. But um, Vietnamese people use this a lot to make soup. But again, you can stir fry it. And they take like literally seconds, minutes to cook. So definitely something you might want to try the next time you're in the Asian market. Try it. Occasionally, Kenton likes to pick up other flavors of noodles that he likes. This is the hot and spicy instant noodles. And this one is spicy beef flavor. All right, Miriam. This here is some um, prepared flour. This is to make the rice pancakes, the bang zayao. So you have rice flour, it has turmeric in there, you add milk and um, coconut milk, I mean, and you serve it with a lot of vegetables and you can add meat to it. So we have two packs and sometimes I use it to um, fry or batter fish even with it because it makes a much lighter, crispy batter. So Khalid's helping me cook here while I talk to you. This is liver and we're about to Next, do it. We have some firm tofu. So this is made with soybeans and I'm just gonna make sure this goes in the refrigerator. Okay, Mariam. And I also have some spring roll pastry. So, you know, you can make this yourself, but it's a lot faster, easier to have it made for you. So these are really easy. I just keep them in the freezer. Uh, for when I want to make egg rolls or um, even the Indian stuff pastries where you can put potatoes and peas in them. Just good, easy party or snack food. And these are to make wontons. These little. All right. I think tomorrow we're going to have a little eating show, me and Canton. Um, these are lychees, which we both love, but you can get them in the can. We've eaten them in the can, but if you can get them fresh, that's even better. So these are lychees, and this is, do you know what this is? This is a dragon fruit, high in vitamin C. Um, kind of simple, it, you know, it looks a lot more crazy than it tastes because it actually has a very simple, bland, fresh, crispy taste to it. So I'm gonna eat that tomorrow. And these are just some Fuji apples. Sometimes it's actually cheaper to buy um, apples at the uh, ethnic store than the regular supermarket. The wonderful plantain, because I can never get enough plantain. So we buy them ripe and then we also buy them almost ripe and I keep them so that I can eat them almost every day, really can. So Africans, Caribbeans, even Asians, we all eat them. Um, today, I plan to cook a side of eggplant. So these are the long Chinese eggplant. They're a lot more tasty than the bigger ones. Um, and you saute it, add a little bit of hoisin sauce, and you're good to go. Really delicious and healthy, healthy. And last but not least, whenever we go to the Asian market um, or Asian store, this is Kenton's favorite uh, style of instant noodles. This is the duck flavor. The kids can't eat seafood. They don't like the chicken. So they prefer the duck flavored noodles. So this is a pack of 30. And I don't know how long this will last us. Usually it doesn't last more than two weeks, less than two weeks and it's gone because we have teenage kids. So yeah, I just wanted to show you, this is a plantain that's ready to fry today. It's soft and you can see it's a lot darker than this one. This one will probably be ready in a day or two, maybe two days, and this will be ready to fry. And I just have this ready for... So I have some vegetables here that have already been sliced up. And I'm just going to finish slicing these peppers. 
This is to go with the eggplant here that I have. This knife is horrible now. I think it's ready to sharpen. I don't know why I still use it when I have a better knife. Alright, got my sharper knife and yeah, it's important to use the right tools. <laughs> right tools makes things a lot easier. So I'm just going to uh, basically saute the eggplant and add all of this seasoning to it with some salt and pepper. I like to cut it in the middle and just slice it and a nice chunky pieces. Eggplant doesn't cook long at all. Um, you just kind of have to make sure it is sauteed and that it isn't rubbery. but it's also very easy to overcook it. When it comes to the eggplant, I try to keep it simple. This is just a little garlic powder, and I could certainly have added some fresh garlic, chopped fresh garlic, adding some seasoned salt. Um, I, can't, I call Goya seasoned salt. It's all-purpose adobo, all-purpose seasoning. That's what it is. It's not really straight salt because we do wash our pressure here. And this is cayenne pepper for a little bit of spice. So just going to saute it. Got the onions and the chopped peppers with this. And once it is almost cooked, I will add hoisin sauce to it. So really simple but very tasty side dish. So I didn't mention I already had a little bit of vegetable oil in the um, pot before I added the onions and seasoning. And you'll know when the eggplant is done because it will go from being this dark purple, the skin will start changing color and it will get a little lighter or start to look a little bit on the brown side. So I let it steam for a little bit for probably less than five minutes and then I'll go ahead and add the um, hoisin sauce. So it's been less than five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add the hoisin sauce, which is actually made with sugar, water, soybean, salt, sweet potato, um, a lot of seasoning. And if you've been to Asian restaurants, you definitely had this on the menu. So it's gonna mix it up. It's definitely already cooked. You can see how it shrunk and it cooks very quickly. So guess what she's doing again, of course, fried plantain. And the liver is done. Just gonna add some chopped scallions to it. So you can see, nice big pieces of liver. Not everybody likes liver, but I love So we're liver. starting this new diet, Ken and I. Go ahead, Ken, read oh, the list. Yeah, okay, you see here, uh, it's a military diet. It has nothing to do with the military. It has I nothing never, to do with the military? Because I never had this diet in the military. No, so where does just, Khalid get this from? Uh, I don't know. He just got it on a, off of the uh, internet, YouTube. All right, let me hear. So for breakfast, it's 
one slice of whole wheat toast, plain, uh, two tablespoons of peanut butter, half a grapefruit, and either. I don't like grapefruit. I mean, it's good for you, but I don't like grapefruit. Well, you don't have a choice. That's the diet. So, I don't like grapefruit. Well, there you go. And then black coffee or green tea. No I don't sugar. drink black coffee. I don't drink coffee at all. But then that says it says green tea. Plain green tea. No sugar. Mm. No additives. Straight. That's breakfast alone. Then lunch. One slice of plain toast. Whole wheat. Uh, oh, that sounds grain. like prison food. Half a cup of plain tuna. So <laughs> yep. And then again, green tea or plain black coffee. That's it. You can, you can have as, and how but, long are we going to do this for? But the for? good thing is you can have as much water as you want. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. As yeah. much water you want. This is day one. <laughs> then dinner is three ounces of any type of meat. Plain chicken beef. <laughs> at this place surrounded by trees and wildlife it's not amazing like completely surrounded all right let's go find the kids do you see them I feel like I swear like I'm on the set of Jurassic Park I always say that <laughs> so many parts of North Carolina it's so green and Lots and lots of tall trees. I don't know what Oregon feels like, but kind of reminds me of what I imagine, except maybe the landscape here is a little bit uh, more dry and humid. But it's really cool. If you like running or hiking or trails, this is a cool place to find that. And they have benches and chairs just randomly all over the place. You would think you're by yourself and no one has ever been here, but clearly they want you to come and explore. Downhill. Downhill. Watch me fall. <laughs> Literally running downhill. <laughs> Guys, be careful. <laughs> See my partner in crime? Yeah. My soulmate, my best friend. He's always here to protect me. Ooh, we're actually now going up on this bridge. Yeah, like Look, walking, what are you doing, Khalid? I'm surprised you can get um, internet coverage no, over here. No, oh, it's downloaded? Let me see. Food? You're still hungry? In the middle of the woods, you got this contraption. What is this? I really don't know. At first I thought maybe it's something to feed animals. In the middle of the woods but then I'm not sure or is it something for golf balls but who would be playing golf right here I don't know random foolishness that I don't understand are you walking We are in Target. Can you believe it? Baby boy Khalid, well, big boy Khalid is going to college. So we're here to do some college shopping. Can you believe it? Already? <laughs> Love that Target has so many appropriate things for college. They have so much cool stuff. So it's a great place to shop for clothes, but also for home decor or his college dorm. So I think he's about to get some sheets. Um, Obviously, a lot of people have done some shopping here, too. Yeah. All right, so he's actually picking up a mattress pad. I uh, want something that's waterproof, soft, and also allergy protection. All right, we finally found some affordable sheets because he has to have an extra long, narrow bed. 
All these things you have to buy and think about. It's like furnishing a whole new little apartment. If it's a king, it's so Miriam's doing the math here to keep track. We're at the comforters. So what color did you get? Just black. Black? black. Wow. Black. You're gonna be hot, aren't you? Definitely need the washcloths. What is this towels too? Are those towels or? Yeah. Have enough paper? Oh, okay. So we're sitting here arguing about whether to get a cork board or a dry erase board. I think for now we're not getting either. You'll come back and think about it. <laughs> Daddy says he needs a fanny pack. No, I don't think he wants a fanny pack. He wants a good backpack. He's got choices of backpacks. Hey Ken, you need a fanny pack. I need a fanny. You need a fanny? You got a good fanny. <laughs> All right, let's keep this PG-13, Kenton. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to help you here. You know, you give me these new looks. I'm gonna choke you out more. I'm choke you out. Show me the exchange student again, Ken. What are you doing? <laughs> you look like you belong on the slow bus. <laughs> that yellow bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, so this one will hold a laptop. Wait, man, they all back. The Puma's fifty. Wow, the Puma is fifty dollars. You just for a brand name. You don't have to get Puma. I mean, yeah, some of them are cute, but mm, you can get Cosmo. Whoever Cosmo is. <laughs> Remember when they used to like this sort of stuff? Oh, I don't think I could pay Khalid enough money to take anything like this. Not anymore.